Yes, you can get a free mental health treatment. They offer through the government. Yeah, well, I've looked. So, if I'm not fucking that smart to figure it out, I don't have a fucking smart ass brain. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not looking at the right spots. I think just listen to that. Silence is better. People will figure it out how you move. People will figure out how on how you move. Yeah, silence is the best. Won't even have to mention. I don't know. I just do me, y'all. I just do me, and I'll, I'll just, whatever. Like, I'm just so happy I have a job. I'm so happy. How's the weather? It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous, baby. Honestly, work might make it better. Just going out of routine makes it worse, you know? Yeah? I know, I really think, like, going to work and stuff like that is really going to better my mental health. It's going to keep me occupied. I mean, even tomorrow, working, like, 8 to 5 and, you know what I'm saying? Not being on TikTok, you know what I'm saying? Not being stuck in this house and being productive and learning new things. And it's just, I think it's going to be feel, I mean, even, like, getting out of the house this morning and just being somewhere else was just, like... It kind of felt like, I don't know, it felt relaxing. It felt like it was just, I didn't have to hear fighting. I didn't have to hear screaming, yelling, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever the case may be, it was just, it was peace, you know what I'm saying? And that's just, I think my mental health will be so much better to just know that I'm out and about and I'm not stuck in this damn house all day. So I think that therapy is what I need. And it distracts your brain. It distracts everything. It's it's better for you. 100%. Look at me. I'm like laying down. Oh, my legs. I'm sorry. My legs, they are hurting so bad. Like, I, I, I'm dead ass. Like, I'm not. I'm not. My legs are like, they're cramping. What time do you get off tomorrow? 5 p.m. So I probably won't get home till about 7 due to rush hour traffic. I get off at five. I'm gonna stretch. So I'm gonna. I will get home at seven. Take a nap and then work out. I'm gonna get off of here. Reddit page got shut down today. I know. I'm happy. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> Good luck finding, they'll probably just, you know what, they'll probably just make another one. Please make another fan page of me. Please do. Please, for the love of God, make another fan page. God, please. I'm begging you. I love when people are so obsessed with me. I love it. It Makes me feel so popular. It makes me feel like I'm somebody. (laughs) I think they have another one. They do? What's, What's another one? There's another one. What is it? I want to go see it. I'm going to go scoop it up. I'll go shut it down again. (laughs) Well, I do know the Reddit owner. There's always another one. There's always... (laughs) Does anybody know? Let me guess. Unhinged Twins probably is going to be the next one. I find it weird how many people know what happens on Reddit. Right? You know the Reddit owner? Fuck yeah, I do. How do you think? Why do you think I want it in, into that server? Why do you think I wanted to get into that live chat? Why do you think they went private? Now you figured it out. Now, now, now you're putting the pieces together, aren't you? <clears throat> I do know the Reddit owner. I do. And I have connections outside of this app that I don't talk about. So quiet. And that's why I'll show you. I'll show you. You ready? I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. i show you. Hold on. Let's see where it's at. Um, where is it? Hold on. Um, I don't think I... 
Uh, read that. We block Danny because it takes her saying something and everyone attacking her and then the sub gets reported. She can absolutely bait people and we are not having it. If you don't like it, go talk shit on her on her live. She is not welcome here. If you have any questions or issues with it, please feel free to message me. Why do you think they don't want me in that server? Interesting, huh? And all I got to do is have them come after me and screenshot, screenshot, send it his way. And it gets taken down. How do you think it got taken down? You actually have, do have a lot of people over there rooting for you, but you don't need to look at it. I do. I do. Yeah, his name is Steve. He's the owner of Reddit. Just email steve at reddit.com. And you can send all screenshots, videos, and stuff like that. That's why the mods on Reddit is telling them no real life, no body shaming, no nothing, because they can take down the server because of that. If that's true, why did it take so long? Whatever, he's the CEO, not owner, whatever. Whatever he is. He runs he, he runs uh, Reddit. So, it's Steve at Reddit. Yeah. If that's... Because, like, it takes a while for stuff like that. You have to have... Like, they body shaved me. That picture was on Reddit. I saw it. So I screenshotted it, and I sent it right over, and I reported it. And they took it, the mods took it down because they know, they know that the sub can get taken down if anything goes against the Reddit policy or the communicating guidelines. So if you body shame, bully, harass, or anything like that, real life, they take down your server. And that's why mods, they try to protect that server by not allowing them to post inappropriate stuff on Reddit to keep the server up and running. So that's how they do it. Don't you remember like last year there was like body shaming going on and now there's not? The mods really have rules about body shaming. They get deleted a lot. Yup. Mm-hmm. That's why mods, you know, you, you, yeah, you remember. Now they don't allow it because the, the server can be taken down. That's why their mods on the accounts are watching because the server can be taken down, just like how it got taken down because of the, the page somebody posted about me. So, yeah, pretty much. So, doesn't matter. I just don't understand the whole, I don't either. So they like to they like to bring awareness, but they don't bring awareness. They bring a bunch of bullying and lies. They don't snark. They don't snark. They bully. They make videos. They twist things. And it's very sad. And you know, sometimes you just gotta pray for those people. Good. No one should be body shaming anyways. No one should. It doesn't matter what size or what shape you are. You're all loved. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just the bottom line. You know, they post a lot of actual videos. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like, some of them are, are, are true. I'm not going to lie. A lot of it is. But a lot of them are a bunch of lies. Like you said last night, it's entertaining, some not in a good way, but there are a lot of good. And I agree, 125 million percent, I agree. Some of the funny you have to, some are funny, some are funny, I will admit that. Yes, yeah, some are funny, but you know what, and that's snarking, you know what I'm saying? Like, snark people all day, every day, and that's fine, you have every right to do that. You know, but to edit videos, to accuse people, you know, that's not that you don't have any f facts on. 
that's wrong. And you can really hurt by someone because everybody, you know what I'm saying? If you're posting something that's not true, you can hurt that human being. You can damage their life. So, and that's the only thing. Like, if you want to talk facts about me, please do, because you have every right to do it. But don't put don't put stupid stuff up there. That's not that's not real. That's not truth. So that's why I tell people don't believe Reddit. Don't. I mean, you can if you want to. You're just gonna ruin your mental health. <sighs> that's negativity. That's why I don't bring on the app. What's up, Maddie? How are you? Well, guys, I think I'm going to get off for the rest of my day. I'm going to go out there and talk to my mom and see what she's going to do today. Maybe I'm going to go shopping with her. She's going to go out. And I'm going to do something productive today. So enjoy your day, and I'll see you guys tonight, okay? I love you. Stay positive. Stay blessed. Stay true to yourself.